another ROM installation and review video. Here we have another update of Pixel OS. Pixel OS comes with very pure and strong Android experience. If you don't need any extra customization, then you can go with that smooth custom ROM. Uh, if you are using the older one, then you don't need to uh, wipe anything like uh, data, DLB cache, system vendor, anything. You don't need to wipe anything. Just download the latest package and just flash over the older one and you don't need to worry about uh, losing your data because everything will be fine like as before and if you are uh, flashing just like me new one then follow my process here I already opened my virus box recovery here then go to as usual this is android 13 remember that thing and if you are using any lower version of android and you are upgrading to the latest one then you must format your data and another thing if you are using the latest android update and you are downgrading your android version then you must format your data and actually always recommend to uh, do a clean flash so clean flash always very best so follow that process here there will be data cache system vendor and swipe to wipe when that wiping partition is partitions are done then go to the format section type yes and remember one thing you can format a later part after flashing the room no problem before rebooting you can format data and i always uh, uh, try to do that uh, first time so, so that's why i already did it now navigate to the folder you have downloaded or stored your files. I have mine on SD card. Here is the ROM files and under 13 and here is the Pixel OS under 13. And really thanks to NobuCH for building this one. Correct me if I am pronouncing the wrong word. So it will take some time to be flashed. So wait until it is done. So flashing process already done now. Click on reboot system and wait until your device boots up. Here is the boot animation and device is booting that means ROM perfectly flashed and it's working. And here is that animation as it is pixel experience type ROM that means actually you guys can say this is a, another pixel experience ROM. So the logo will be good from Google and this is really cool no extra things just a minimal kind of features just you need so device finally booted and this is the way you guys can flash any custom rom and in any devices no issues this is the best and the secure process um, using orange box recovery or any kind of recovery this is the way now get ready for the full After installation process here is the full review of pixel os another update I already talked about in installation video so here we have the full review right now I'm going to show you guys uh, should we use this custom ROM or not let's begin here is the about section as usual we have under 13 just like before and latest security update which is from this month and kernel use like as before since part plus and I recommend you guys if you have the lineage OS kernel then of course try that you will get better performance then we have system gesture and we don't have customization extra customization whatever you say because this is pixel OS based on pure stock android experience but we have that device settings and which uh, can be changed like earpiece gain and MI sound enhancer ambient display fps overlay and display color calibration i already talked about this option in so many videos then as usual we have digital well-being and parental control let's talk about security what we have here we have the face unlock and fingerprint that's great but we don't have any app locker then we have accessibility wallpaper and style as usual uh, just like latest android 13 we have icon pack app grid font and shapes uh, which is a uh, latest uh, Con a conclusion actually you can say because uh, there is uh, no changes in latest under 13 and all custom rooms are same in that wallpaper and style section 
then we have the display as usual the regular customization everything is present here double tap to sleep and awake everything is working fine and i already tested everything here you guys will see the show data uses that option is uh, included in display section and then we have the ignore window secure flags that means you guys can remove a screenshot and a screen record limits for all kind of application which is really good and uh, unauthorized application or uh, never support screenshot but if you enable that feature then you will be able to take it and which is a good thing and then we have the sound and vibration and storage let's talk about this and here you guys can see the system only uh, taken 1.1 GB and this is really great for low RAM devices I'm using here the 3 GB RAM variant and if you have 2 GB RAM then don't try this one and if you're really waiting for that one uh, which is by default we need always the speed meter which is here the network traffic monitor whatever you say then you will get it on network and internet section at the bottom here we have the network traffic indicator and which is perfectly fine now everything is done let's talk about the smoothness and of course we have the google dialer as it is pixel room and you guys will get the call recording but i think it's not working and i already checked but it didn't work for me and try and let me know in the comment section and just a google pixel uh, applications are there and of course assistant is perfectly working there is no issues and if you were looking for the google unlimited photos is working or not of course it's working let me show you the screenshot i already taken here is that you guys will get unlimited backup and then, now i want to show you cpu throttle to 83 percent its max performance which is really good and i tested it in earlier stage if you keep using the device for some days and then you will try you will get better performance now let's talk about the safety net which is really very important for many people and this is G apps build and pixel ROM always comes with G apps build so this is really good and don't need to worry about any kind of G apps you don't need to search it for internet so this is really good and by default you guys will get that play store and which is certified everything is fine and as it is pixel room we will get the launcher which is from pixel launcher by default and this modern smoothness is really really mind-blowing and important thing is here we don't have any lag in qs panel and everything is here you guys can directly access your calculator from the qs panel and remember one thing this is inform uh, this is a kind of note i want to mention here because all kind of uh, under 13 custom room comes with uh, comes for redmi 7 and y3 you guys will get qs panel lag a bit because uh, when you connect your device to the internet like wi-fi and mobile data then you will get some notification always and it's connected to internet and it uh, uh, it is always try to uh, trying to uh, load some data in the background so that's why at that time you can face a bit lag on QS panel for all Android 13 custom ROM but this one is like that but I didn't find any lag right now and this is really cool thing so hope you guys understand and if I miss anything just let me know in the comment section below so another thing I left yes I remember which is Google camera and perfectly working here you can see it's perfectly working portrait night sight and everything I already checked and front and back camera everything is fine and you can record videos as well uh, in 1080 p 60 fps as well so no issues and other things are really really fine by default you will get that uh, stock camera and Google camera go as well so that's it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching